Morning, everyone. Thank you for doing your devotions with me today. We are in Genesis 29, verses 31 through 35. Let's pray together. Father, as we come to you, Lord, and in these short five verses, O Lord God, we pray that you would be speaking into our hearts and allowing us, O Lord God, to gain an insight into your heart for us, Lord. Help us to receive your love, O Lord God, and experience the profound impact that it would make for us to know how loved we are by you, Lord. So come and fill us with your spirit, fill us with understanding, and Lord God, move and work in our hearts. We pray all this in Jesus' name. Amen. So Genesis 29, verses 31 through 35. When the Lord saw that Leah was not loved, he enabled her to conceive, but Rachel remained childless. Leah became pregnant and gave birth to a son. She named him Reuben, for she said, It is because the Lord has seen my misery. Surely my husband will love me now. She conceived again, and when she gave birth to a son, she said, Because the Lord heard that I am not loved, he gave me this one too. So she named him Simeon. Again she conceived, and when she gave birth to a son, she said, Now at last my son will be, my husband will be, will become attached to me because I have borne him three sons. So she named him Levi. She conceived again, and when she gave birth to a son, she said, This time I will praise the Lord. So she gave him Judah. So she named him Judah. Then she stopped having children. Amen. Um, yeah, as we read this passage, I'm sure that everyone at some point have felt like Leah, felt like the unloved one or the less attractive one, the one that um, was not the wanted person in the room. You know, and I think that um, for each one of us, this is a, a really important lesson for us to learn. We often continue to pursue and seek out the love of those who uh, have not loved us. And just like Leah, you know, she says, you know, maybe now, maybe now my husband will love me. Maybe now my husband will love me. Um, it's so sad. It truly, truly is so sad. And it is something that is a result, first of all, of her dad's deception, right? Um, Laban tricked Jacob into marrying Leah. And poor Leah was forced into this marriage also. And, you know, she deserved to be loved but she was not. And, you know, Jacob was head over heels in love with Rachel. And so it was unfair of Laban to trick, um, trick Jacob and also unfair of Laban to have Leah be married in an unloved uh, relationship. But it is clear what, um, that God loved her so clearly. And, you know, rather than pursuing the love of man, um, Leah finally comes to the end where she realizes that she has the love of God. And so she praises God and worships God. And we know that Judah is, um, you know, he's, Judah is at the center of, of this relationship uh, with God in terms of, you know, from the tribe of Judah um, comes you know, David from the tribe of Judah comes uh, Jesus. And so it's, you know, this incredible blessing and, and love that Leah has received because she is loved. Um, each one of us also, rather than pursuing the love of those who refuse to love us or rather than trying to fit in, trying to belong, um, may we find the love of God to be sufficient. May we find that the love of God is more than enough for us, that we would find our peace and find our rest in his love. Let's pray. God, we are thankful for this reminder that you give us, O oh Lord God, that we are your beloved. Even when we don't quite realize it, when we find ourselves, Lord God, chasing after the love of the world. God, we pray that you would remind us again and again how loved we are by you. That we, O oh Lord God, would be able to come to a place where your love is sufficient for us. That we would stop trying to be good enough. Stop trying to earn someone else's love. For Lord God, your love has never failed. 
Your love has never been conditional. Your love, O oh Lord God, is more than enough for all of us, Lord. So God, we pray that we would be awakened to that love. No longer, O oh Lord God, blinded by this desire to fit in, we, O oh Lord God, will find your love and be able to love you in return. Thank you so much, O oh God. We want to worship you and praise you the same way that Leah did. We want to, Lord God, express to you, God, how worthy you are. We pray all this in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, everyone. Have a blessed day today, and I'll see you on Sunday. Bye-bye.